Thank you for joining me in this prayer. I'm really happy to pray with you. The book of Matthew in the Bible encourages us to agree in prayer. So I ask you to do that here, that you would listen and agree as together we approach the Lord in prayer. Thank you, God, for being a kind Father. Thank you for being a God of hope, of promises made and promises kept, of love and a God of truth. We come to you knowing that we can lay our cares at your feet, that you actually ask us to cast them on you, and that you will deal with these things in a completely wise, righteous, justice-filled, and loving way. Lord, I pray with my friend today for hope. I pray that you would allow us to turn our hearts and minds away from the discouraging things that, that weigh us down or that cause us anxiety and worry, and instead ask you to fill our minds, heart, and soul with strength that comes from hope. First Peter says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Let us have minds that, that have a greater understanding of what living hope is, that it's not static, it's not it's not kept in the dark, it's not something that never moves, but a living hope that actually has power with it. That we would believe that that hope is instilled and infused with the power of your Holy Spirit. So I pray with my friend that our eyes would be open to the things that you are doing to fuel that hope, that our ears would hear what's going on around us and not not turn to fear or anxiety or depression or discouragement, but instead listen for the things that you're doing that means that they have hope. Lord, we are so easy to um, to just to be discouraged and, and sort of wallow in that because that feels comfortable. Lord, I pray that you would forgive us for those times that we do that and instead infuse us with the energy that comes from having hope in a living God. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call. That's from Ephesians 4. We are called to hope, so let us live in that way, Lord. I pray that you'd strengthen us for that. I pray that you'd give us eyes to see in ways that we can never see in the natural. But when we see in you, we see the things that you're doing. Lord, I pray that you would give us hope for everything that happens in this day, for all the people that we relate with, for the ones that we care for. And Lord, we just ask that in the ways that we can never generate anything like this, we want your hope. We want eternal hope. We want spiritual hope. And we want a hope that can only come from the living God. We pray all this in Jesus' precious and hope-filled name. Amen.